The hidden secrets between these two maidens has to be revealed because why are they always fighting? Why are they always giving each other enough water water in the palace? I want to believe there is something hidden between the two of them. Hello guys, welcome back once again to the light review to all my returning subscribers. Much love to you guys. So let's continue. Here is the king and the queen. They're coming back from Houghton and they notice these two maidens. So they have to take action on their case. The king said he is going to know what was going on between them and the queen mother as well as she has promised that she will also do her findings anyway guys going away from that the queen mother wanted the king to come and relax rest on her chest but king says i am so tired as you can see we are just coming back from an outing so i am just tired you can just let me be for now now we move back to these two maidens having issue in between each other even the guests the guys in the palace they all noticed them and this one was even abusing accusing her that what, what are you sweeping what are you doing you don't seem to be doing your work again come on girl now we go back to the king and the queen the king has refused to do his normal duty as a man to this queen mother and this makes queen mother to be thinking of going back to her past way of life let's see if this is going to work out for the queen mother now let's see amaka amaka comes came to the palace to check on david we all know that david and amaka they are friends but one of the guards refused to allow amaka see david so she has to be begging him that please i just want to see david this is very very urgent i need to see david also the gate man asks her to give her something but she said she doesn't have any money with her so at last he said okay no problem i'm going to inform david but instead of him to go and inform david he went straight to prince dochi to tell prince dochi that amaka is here she wants to see you because you told me whenever i see her i should summon her so she is here i'm sure she came for you ah the prince said are you sure then he opened up that it was actually not you but she came to see david really okay go and bring her in the girls did not expect that from the prince but he has no choice than to obey the prince which i want to believe that the prince also has a mission on what he is going to do now let's see david the cool and calm gentleman dressing up trying to do his thing on his own way you know where he was sitting down the queen mother came to him and tried to do something which we need to watch together and if you have watched it can you just let me hear you in the comment section to know what you think about this queen mother even if the king is no longer active will is it good for her to go to the guards to the to the driver or to go outside but let's see what david will do to the queen impression over him now let's continue the queen mother was trying to harass the spirit the lion dog in david but as a young and respectful man he said pray queen mother please can you just allow me to be without any mess hmm. this caused queen mother angry and she said okay you need to take me out so you go and get your key all right while queen mother left david the guard came to david and informed david of amaka that amaka is outside waiting for you after the prince ador has already ordered him to go and bring amaka in so getting inside david came to see amaka and the two of them hug each other they did not even give them any attention to talk at all then the prince came and sent 
David on her errand. Asked him to get something, even this, what he wanted to get was tear in the palace. But he said he doesn't want the one in the palace. He should go out to get it without a car. He should go out trekking to wherever he will be able to find the stuff just because he doesn't want him to talk to Amaka. So after that, the Queen Mother summoned Prince Dochi to ask him that what was going on out there because she saw him with Amaka. So who was that young lady? Well, the prince opened up to the king, to the Queen Mother, that she was just an ordinary girl that came to look for David. So what was going on between this girl and David? There was nothing though, so don't give yourself, don't give yourself an impression, wrong impression over what is not necessary. Amaka had waited for David for a very long time and David is not back, so she has to leave the palace and go home even the prince wanted to carry her home but she refused at first that no my grace you don't need to disturb yourself i will get a bike outside the prince also insists that he is going to take her home so the girl had no choice but to open so the prince can take her home hmm. my people while we were doing this david came back with the stuff but by the time he will get back to the palace he was told that the prince has gone out and here we have the prince and Amaka riding home. He was telling her some things that Amaka was trying to resist. Okay, there is no problem. If that should be the case, I think I will come to your home, to your house to see your father by myself. And Amaka said, okay, there is no problem. If you want to see my father, you are free to come. Whatever you wanted to say to me, you can say it in presence of my father because I think that will be the best thing. So they were having this conversation as well. But while David and the queen mother was going out, they saw Prince Ka in Amaka's house. So what could the prince be doing in this compound? Well, no one knows. So she has ordered Davis to do the findings to know what was going on. Thank you guys for your love. Thank you for always coming to watch whenever I upload. Much love to you guys and please don't forget to hit the red button. Subscribe, love, like, share and comment.